Welcome everyone to a new video tutorial and today I will first for all times I think uh, concentrate on QGIS. It's an open source software. You can download it for free, install it for free and also use it for free on your laptop, your Ubuntu system or your workstation, whatever you like. In this lesson I will show you how to georeference a map, a topographic map, um, so you can use it in your GIS environment and first of all we need of course something like a jpeg or a tiff uh, in pr you probably will find it in your map library and so we'll have a look into google for some images and therefore we will need really large images oh well this here is great so um this is um a topographic image we will download it take some time we will store it in a new folder or well, let's say GRF new okay store it and this image has only one referenciation uh, you know where the pixels are so in case this uh, image has a little left corner, upper right corner, and depending on your system whether you will count the pixels from the lower left corner, this pixel or this pixel here, um, here somewhere, will probably be 500 pixels to the right, 200 or 400 pixels to the up, uh, to the um, top, and so you have a position of a pixel, but that doesn't mean that uh, um, some kind of GIST system will know. Uh, will know the current spatial location, so the geographic coordinates for that area or for that pixel. So what we will do with um, with QGIS, first of all, let's start QGIS. I'm do doing it here with the version number 174, so-called Rocklav. Let's go to this, and so this is the working area of QGIS, and you have here some kind of raster layer, uh, vector layer, but um, of course we will georeference our our image. So what we will need to do is go to plugins, georeferencer, and open the georeferencer. First of all, we need to add our raster or open the raster, and in this case, it is stored here. So we have that image, and now you have to define the layers coordinate reference system. So how to define it? Um, let's have a look on the image. Oh, I've downloaded it here to um, GRF new. Uh, let's open it in a, in a picture view. And this image has some interesting details, especially in this area here. So if you're reading it out here, um, you will see this this section here transfer transverse Mercato projection 10,000 meter universal transfer transverse Mercato grid zone number 18 and you have something like the 1927 North American datum so this is information about the projection of the map and the uh, underlying reference system you will need that information and so we need to choose 1927 North American datum, also known as NAD, and the UTM, Universal Transverse Mercator Grid, zone number 18. So let's go back to QGIS. Here we are. And in this section, you have a lot of geographic coordinate systems, but also a projected coordinate system. And our uh, is one, it is called the Universal Transverse transverse Mercator projects and so open it and now you have different um, different geoids geoids um, or um, ellipsoids underneath so we will search for our NAD North American datum there we are and oh there is this zone number 18 so we will just mark this click on OK and we are ready to go somehow if there will be our georeferencer plugin. Oh, 
Pro-G has um, Pro-V work the way it should work. Let's face it a second time. search the screens for it. Ah, there it is. It's another working pane. So um, this is the geo reference and so what we will need to do is we need to add some points to our map at points and after that we will start the geo referencing itself. So what we do is we will just concentrate on a really quick and dirty linear transformation. So we will take the map, geo reference it only by using four points each for one, uh, each for um, one, yeah, corner of the map, and we'll do it like uh, diagonal. So upper left, lower right, upper right, lower lower left. Uh, so let's go into the upper left section. There is one crossing, and we will search for the crossings of the of the latitudes and longitudes. So this is four thousand seven hundred fifty kilometers north, and probably uh, 4, uh, 430 kilometers east. So um, let's zoom into this point here. Oh, no. Now I've missed the coordinates, sorry for that. So once again, 4,750 kilometers and 430 kilometers. So zoom in. Oh, no. There, the plus section. Go there, search for the point, probably is here. Maybe we should use this crossing, it is better visible to us. So let's check this sign, go here, and mark that little crossing of latitudes and longitudes. So now you need to enter the map coordinates, which is the X section was 440 kilometers and 4,750 kilometers north. Oh, one, two, three. There we are. So, okay. There's our point. We can zoom into that. And relocate it if it's not fitting the crossing. So, um, move GCP point. And we will set it here. Okay, this is fine. So these are now the coordinates for our first ground control point, it is also called. Let's go to another crossing. Um, due to the fact that it is, isn't projected uh, during your setting of the GCPs, you can also use whatever GCP you like um, or the order isn't that important so you can also stick with uh, upper left, upper right, lower right, upper uh, lower left but we will do it like this like I said. So um, once again search for the other corner so it's 57 for 517 kilometers and 570 kilometers and 4,660 kilometers. Okay, there we are. Um, zoom to the hole. Go to the next. There it is. Once again, create a new point. As I said, it is really quick and dirty. So we are here at 406, uh, 440, I think, or 430. Let's get that. Relocate it a little bit. 420, okay. So once again, go there, click it like that, and JX coordinates 420. Two three, and the y coordinates are four six six zero 
two, three. Okay. And now go to the last crossing on the upper right corner. This looks like a like a nice section here. Just mark it, and it's 480. Uh, 580 kilometers and 4760 kilometers so just press on okay now we have four points uh, what you will need to do now is start the geo georeferencing so we need to set a transformation tab as I said it's a really quick and dirty one so stick with linear or polynomial part one um, the differences will be explained on digitalgeography.com in a few days. Uh, resampling method, as we are not interested in the in the real um, RGB code of one pixel, we can distort this information to get a better looking result in the end. So we will stick with um, linear interpolation and no compression at all, and we will store it in a new name file modified called GRF or we'll say it's NAD 27 18 North so I will stick with GeoTIFF as I like this um, file type and I just click on save as so uh, this is it generate PDF map we won't use that the target uh, um, reference system should be checked here once more so we will use that zone and uh, it has its own EPSG code you can mod write it down for yourself if you would like to okay just loading QGIS when done and click on OK now on some some systems it, this takes a, a while you can make yourself a coffee it's very quick on my PC here now um, so we are done already what you can do now we can quit the georeferencer you should save the gcp points but um, maybe you will need it after 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 the afterwards but i will close it without saving so um let's go back to qgis there it is so this is now my map and um what we can do now to check the quality of our georeferenciation is to use another plugin. You can see it here the Open Layers plugin and add an OpenStreetMap. Now we have some kind of problems here. So what we need to do is you need to set the project properties to be UTM Zone 18. And once again, plugins, Open Layers plugin, add OpenStreetMap. Now the WMS service of OpenStreetMap is loaded in the in the back section of it, and this is a little bug of uh, QGIS, so you don't see anything. And what we need to do is you need to pan a little bit, and then the underlying image is is loaded. And how to make quality analysis of it is just to zoom in to certain areas of your map and arrange the visibility of our source image so this is our source image and as you can see here um, the georeferenciation the really quick and dirty one was quite good in that area so just check out this street here nearly or a very good fitting here uh, of the underlying map which is a total new one and the overlying map which is uh, something from 1948 or something so the aerial images that have been the basis for that topographic map are very very old um so yeah that's it for the moment so we have done a really quick and dirty georeferenciation of a topographic map in QGIS and we have done some quality analysis just by looking and comparing the results and the features of the map compared to an open street map. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.